fear. A trembling, terrified little human. <clears throat> My favorite kind. Do you know where you are, human? Go on. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Look at you. You're not as dumb as I thought. Got it in one. Welcome to hell. Now let's see if you can handle round two. Do you know who I am? Very good. You can call me Satan. The one. The only. The incomparable. Well, come on. Do you have anything to say? Am I not exceptionally terrifying? At the very least, I'm sure you have questions. In fact, I bet I even know what they are, but I'll play along with you while you get used to your new situation. Yes, tragically, you're dead. Shuffled out of the mortal coil, pushing up metaphorical daisies. And no, it's not a dream before you ask. It's as real as it gets. Oh, yes. Oh, this is my favorite part. No one ever expects to end up here. Everyone thinks they're a good person. They lived a good life. They don't belong in hell. Oh, that's it. Make your case. Bargain with me. Tell me all the puppies you saved and the babies you kissed. Weep, scream, all at my feet, but you know something? It doesn't matter what you say or do. This is where you are. This is where you'll stay. I can't change that, and neither can you. So you might as well get used to it. Ah, there's the panic. That creeping despair. It's delicious, you know that. Your suffering starts right here, and all I have to do is tell you the truth. I love my job. Right, enough of that. I need to get you processed and sent out to your personally tailored hellscape. I think you'll find it truly horrific. Barbara, send an imp down here, would you please? We have a newbie to take out to the floor. Okay, while we wait for that, I need you to sign right here and here. It's just a boilerplate acknowledgement. You understand where you are, you understand there's no leaving, and you get the idea. Well, if you don't sign it, I'll sign it for you. <laughs> My friend, this is hell. I can do whatever I want. I already know you understand your situation, so it's not like you can play stupid. It's far too late for that. Just sign it so we can get started with your eternity. That's it. Take the pen. Very good. Right. There. Knock, knock. Hey, Satan. Sorry to bother you, but, uh, we have a problem. What are you doing here? We don't have time to chat. I'm a little busy right now. Yeah, I know. You're always busy. But we've got a problem with a soul. This one, actually. Hi there, I'm Sessie. Nice to meet you. Again. Hang on, what sort of problem? What the hair does that even mean? It means that this soul doesn't belong in hell. This one was supposed to go the other way. The other way? Nonsense. Everyone goes exactly where they're supposed to go, just as it's always been. Not this time. There was a... clerical error. They sent me down to take care of it. Here, I have a note from one of the VPs. You can read it for yourself. You gotta be kidding me. There's no such thing as a clinical error. That doesn't happen. Are you serious? Don't you remember the thing that happened last year? With the virus and the zombies and the whole mess that caused? Also, my partner is someone I literally couldn't kill because of a bit of a screw-up at the top. So it's not like this is new. I, I don't... I don't remember... I don't remember anything about that. Right, you wouldn't. You don't really stay in the loop on what's going on with the higher-ups. Hey, I'm really busy. I'm way too busy to deal with whatever bureaucratic foolishness is happening in corporate. Of course. Too busy to read your memos. Too busy to learn how email works. Look, I'm just not tech-savvy, all right? Not everyone has to be connected to the webs at all time. Besides, my pager works just fine. Too busy to come to the employee picnic. Okay, that... That just doesn't sound like an enjoyable experience. I've got a lot of work to do down here, and I don't really know those people very well. 
You never will unless you make an effort to get to know them. How many times have I said you should at least make an appearance? It would be good for everyone to see you. You spend way too much time holed up down here. Half of our co-workers have forgotten what you look like. And look at you, you're not very forgettable. Look, I'm Satan. Master of Hell. Torturer of souls. Destroyer of... I'm a very busy and important demon. I don't have time for ridiculous picnic stuff. <sighs> I didn't come here to argue with you. I came here to take this soul where it belongs. So if you could just grab a transfer form and sign it for me, I can get out of your hair. Oh, now, now hang on. I'm not exactly sure I'm okay with this. What sort of clown show are they running up there, making mistakes like that? I'm a professional. I won't stand for subpar management. So file a complaint. Just let me take the soul out of here first. I'm really sorry about this. This doesn't usually happen. But don't worry, Pumpkin. You don't belong in hell. Oh yeah, sorry. We've met briefly. I'm Death. Death. Like, not alive. I take the living and make them not. Call me Sussy. No, I don't make that call. The fate of the souls after I do my thing has nothing to do with me at all. I just do the ending of life thing. Keeps me plenty busy. Uh, hello, I'm offended by all of this. I'm writing a protest letter. They need to know this will not stand. <clears throat> You've got to be kidding me. A typewriter? You know the employee website lets you file a complaint directly. Right? I like doing things the right way, the way they should be done. It's so much more professional to see real ink on paper, don't you think? And besides, no one can hack a typewriter anyway. How long will this take? I have other things to do today, you know. You can't brush a thoughtful but firm correspondence. Speaking of which, why do they send you? They're always knee-deep in releasing souls from the mortal bodies and doing whatever it is they do topside. You haven't come down here in months. I'm not sure, actually. They asked me to, so I said I'd help out. My best guess is that they're shorthanded. There's been some turnover with the support staff. It's a... Uh, little chaotic up there. I wouldn't know. Not my problem. But it is your problem. You're a part of this as much as I am. This is a team effort. Starting with you signing the transfer form so I can get going. A team effort. I have a team. In fact, I have an army of minions under me. I run the tide of ship around. I'm a true master of my craft. And I can't be bothered with clinical errors and pointless social events. I certainly can't be bothered helping clean up other people's mistakes. I don't care if they technically are my superiors. This soul is here now. So it belongs to me. Isn't that right, little human? You know what? You can sit down here in your embroidered waistcoat behind your mahogany desk and pretend that none of this concerns you. But in the end, it does. You keep yourself so far removed from everything and everyone. I know you're busy. I know running hell is a demanding job. But listen here, Morning Star. Oh, here we go. You have a responsibility to know what's going on in the organization. When I come down here because of some small bureaucratic snafu, you should just do what I need you to do, because that's how it works when you're on a team. Besides, if I haven't come down here in months, why do you think that is? You're not exactly welcoming. I'm Satan. How welcoming do you expect me to be? I stab people with pitchforks for a living. I carve out eyeballs and decorate with entrails and, well, to be honest, I delegate a lot of that, but I'm still very, very busy. Who has time to entertain social callers, anyway? You're smug and you're frustrating, but you're very, very good at your job. I'll give you that. You torture souls better than anyone ever has. You just need to get out a bit more. Come to the corporate events. Come topside every so often. I think you might actually have fun if you let yourself. These horns? What do you think, human? How well would this look go over if I decided to just take a quick walk in the sunshine? 
I don't know what a cosplay is, but I'm assuming you take my point. Speaking of horns, yours look very nice today. Did you polish them? Yes. Fine grit sandpaper and baby seal wax. I like to take pains with my appearance. You think they look okay? They look great. You should really come out so more people can see them. I mean, think about it. Down here, who can even appreciate how much effort you make? The souls arrive, they're scared and confused and upset. They don't notice the little things, like those nice shiny horns. They're too worried about not being tossed into the lava pit or having spiders shoved under their fingernails. I suppose that's true. Plus, if you come to one of the picnics and get to know some of the people we work with, they could be useful to you. It never hurts to have some connections. Network a little bit. You're Satan. You're the great deceiver. You're the original master manipulator. Why pass up a chance to use those skills on the people you're already forced to interact with? I see what you're saying, but I don't know. What if they just don't want me there? Of course they want you there. Your reputation precedes you. Just bring some deviled eggs. They'll get a kick out of that. It'll be a great icebreaker. Okay, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. If you come, I'll take you around. Introduce you to people. It'll be fun, I promise. You can't... You can't promise that. I said I'd think about it. <sighs> what do you think, little human? You think company team building is worth it? Eh, maybe you do belong down here. But... I guess I can go ahead and sign the transfer form just this once. It happens again, though. I'm holding on to the soul until someone from the top comes down to handle it personally. I'm far too important around here for anything less. That understood? Absolutely. I will run it up the chain and let them know how incredibly inappropriate we all think this is. Especially you. Mistakes like this shouldn't happen. I mean, what if you'd already moved on to the pitchfork stabbing before I got here? It would have been a whole big mess. Definitely not something that someone of your reputation should have to deal with. Exactly. You understand me. I'm glad someone does. Now, uh, do you need the sand in blood, or...? Ink is fine. Whatever you have handy. Okay. Where are my reading glasses? Ah. <laughs> there you go. One transfer form signed. But I'm still gonna finish my letter of complaint. I think that's a great idea. You work on that. We'll get out of here so you can focus. All right, first let me say something to our short-lived guest. <clears throat> well, human, I guess I was wrong about people never getting out of here. You caught a once-in-a-lifetime reprieve. I hope you enjoy it. Be grateful and never forget what you saw here today. Never forget the majesty and might that is Satan. Yeah, about that. We're gonna do a memory wipe. So there will be absolutely no record of any of this. Oh, come on. I was on fire today. I really was. You should have heard how menacing I was. You can't let art like that go to waste if you like painting over Da Vinci. I'm sure you were in top form. But you know things like this have to be thoroughly cleaned up. We can't have a nice soul going into heaven with a bunch of trauma from hell, now can we? And as scary as you are, I'm sure there's a lot of trauma. Right, human? See? Trauma for days. We have to do something about that. And look, another soul is coming along shortly so you can start again. You can do what you do best. Fine. Fine, fine. But this is going in the complaint letter. Now leave. I had a lot of work to do. You got it. See you at the picnic next month? Maybe. Good enough. Oh, who's the new receptionist? What happened to Deborah? You don't want to know what happened to Deborah. But... This is hell remember, for everyone, including me. A parade of incompetent receptionists is just the tip of the iceberg. Just one of the many ways my life is a broken, tortured shadow masquerading as an existence. Okay then. Bye, Satan. Have a good whatever this is. Okay, sorry about that. Just, uh, come this way. I need to get you back where you belong as quickly as possible. Oh, yeah, you won't remember any of that. 
I hope you understand. I mean, you wouldn't want to, right? He's something, that's for sure. But he's a good one. Well, as good as an eternal torturer can be. Oh, don't worry. I'll make sure he comes to the picnic. But in the meantime, let's just turn here. And then we'll go here. Okay, this will take you directly to heaven. Show this form to the angel at the gate when you arrive. They'll know what to do. Have a good eternity. Enjoy whatever it is people do up there. I'm gonna go get a drink. <laughs>